Hey there, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Monday.com and Airtable. The first thing I'm going to compare are the main advantages and disadvantages of both of these tools. Then I will compare the main features, what I like and don't like about them. And then I'm going to compare pricing plans. So let's start. Both of these tools are good for project management. I'm not paid by Monday.com on Airtable to say like, go use Airtable, don't use Monday.com. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to give you my honest review, my honest opinion on it. So in my eyes, Monday.com is much more simpler to use comparing to Airtable. And I will show you why exactly. So when you would go here on Monday.com, right? I can see uh, the new task here and everything. So I got the lists here. I can simply add a request that's like add a task. I can simply add a description, simple, right? I can click on it. I can see, simply write it update, see an activity log, simple things, right? Then I can go just move with my bar here, click plus here and add multiple columns like progress tracking. And it's like pretty to use. I don't know how to define it. You can also do the time tracking here. So perfect, right? And then you can change between main table to Opa. Add multiple views here. Let's say that you want to add a map, timeline, gain chart or normal charts here. And you can integrate and connect multiple apps with monday.com. So this is pretty much it, how it works. So we got your own workspace. In your workspace, you got your own project. And then you have like your own tasks that you can create. So that's it. And that's like monday.com in a simple way. And you see how it works. Airtable, on the other hand, you get a workspace here, then you get your, your own project. And let me show you. It's, it's easy to get lost in Airtable, in my opinion. When you would click on tasks here, or yeah, like you can create a new table. You can simply add a name. Yes, I think Airtable is much more complex. You can simply click plus here, you can choose between roll up, count, you can have literally everything here in Airtable. So for project management, it's really good, but still um, it's harder to understand and harder to learn how to use Airtable. You can simply go to design projects and simply click on whatever project you got here, right? And you can simply attach a file here, add the categories, and it's good and it's effective, but still, you have options to choose between grid, create a forms here, having a calendar, having a gallery, having a Kanban view here. If you want to and add a simple task and assign it to someone, you create this record for assignee. So that's pretty much it. In Airtable, I also wrote it down for you guys. Nope. Here it is. So we have the task schedule here, shared team calendars, team dashboards, time tracking that's also in monday.com and you have external billing and invoicing. So that's good. And that's pretty much it. So these are the two comparisons. Both of these tools are great, but in my opinion, monday.com is much more easier to use and you saw it by yourself. And when I'm going to compare the pricing plans, Monday.com doesn't offer uh, the free version. You have only free trial. Then you need to choose between basic and standard version. And Airtable is free for zero users per month. I mean, zero dollars per user a month. And bunch of people are using that. Or you can go with the plus version. That's like 10 bucks per user a month. And as you can see, it, the main difference between these two is the run history, the record but base and attachment size. The pro version offers you all the apps here, additional color and styling options, and it's much more complex. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.